Absolute. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kayla Rose and this is my channel, obviously. I don't know why I always say that. But today I'm going to be telling you some of my hair care secrets ever since I messed it up last year and had to cut it off. So it's grown about that much since I, I cut it. <laughs> it's been a little over a year, but I have gotten some trims, like two or three trims since then. It's at a decent length. It's pretty much back to where it was before I cut it. I'm no expert, but my hair feels a lot healthier. So I figured some of these tips would help you to grow out your hair. Feel free to like the video if you watch it and feel like this is some solid A1 advice. And you can also feel free to subscribe. We're really close to 3,000 subscribers. If I really close, I mean like 300 people off, but you could be one of those 300 people and it would be awesome. Mix awesomes. So this video's post notification shout out goes to Stephanie Crows. I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> It'll be right here. If you want a chance at a post notification shout out, all you have to do is subscribe down below, hit the bell button next to the subscribe button to be notified that I posted a video, and then comment down below when you're done. Let's just get into the video. So I'm going to start out with the hair products that I use in my hair in the shower. This is the shampoo that I use. It's called the Garnier Whole Blend Repairing Shampoo. This shampoo and conditioner set, I ooh. Hello. Both the shampoo and conditioner, they work so well on my hair. And my hair texture is just weirdness. It's straight and soft at some parts, but then other parts it's like on the more coarser side, but it's still soft. It's really just, it's a lot. I feel like this is the only shampoo that smells amazing. <laughs> And this is also the Haunted Conditioner Bottle for those of you who saw on my Instagram story. If you don't follow me on Instagram, feel free to follow me at Adventure 17 You can poltergeist around, but as soon as I see a face in the mirror when I'm washing my face, I'm out. I am moving, I'm packing up my things, and I'm yeeting out of this house. The way I wash my hair is also super important. What I do is I put shampoo only in like the top front part. This part doesn't need the shampoo. It's the scalp that has the most oil collected onto it. And this is the thing that I think saves my hair the most. What I do when I move on to conditioner is I take my hair and I dry it from here down. And I just squeeze it until I get a lot of the water out and it's just left pretty damp slash dry. And then I'll take my conditioner and I'll take a lot of it. <laughs> like, I probably shouldn't take that much and it's probably why I keep running out. Run it through my hair, run it between my fingers, and make sure to focus on the ends. And then I'll leave it in my hair. I'll just turn off the water and I'll just stand in the shower, I'll sing, I'll brush my teeth, I'll do my face routine while I have the conditioner in my hair as well. And then after that, I will rinse it out. But yeah, that's pretty much all I do. Now moving on. How you dry your hair is super important as well. When you're drying your hair, take it in the towel and squeeze it and then kind of let it go and then just keep squeezing it down like that. Don't just be like scrunching it and all that because it'll make your hair more successful. <laughs> it'll make your hair more susceptible to damage if you do it like that. I would use a t-shirt when I got out of the shower to dry my hair with because it's less damaging than an actual towel. So, now that you're done with drying your hair, you move on to the brushing process. This is for when your hair is completely dry, like I'm right now. Ooh, look at I'm brushing my hair. I have two different kinds of brushes. This one is for my hair. It's disgusting. You didn't see anything. Ooh. Don't mind me just cleaning my brushes for the first time in years. I have two different kinds of brushes for my hair is wet. I have one for when it is completely soaking wet and then I have one for when it's damp slash dry. I know you've probably heard this a million times, but start all the way from the bottom and work your way up because then you won't, you know, get tangles or anything like that. And the last thing I'm going to talk about is the scissors. <laughs> the trimming scissors. Oh, the scissors. You did, yep. When you want to trim your hair, <laughs> It is important that you see a professional, unless you have been doing your own hair for a really long time and have watched several YouTube videos or have had a professional tell you how to trim your hair, don't just wing it. <laughs> don't go willy-nilly with your hair. But if you must trim your own hair, do not use kitchen scissors. For the love of everything that is good and sane in this universe, don't use kitchen scissors. And the whole debate about whether you should get trimmed or not in order to grow your hair out, I still don't know, I just don't do it, I don't get trips. Hopefully these things are helpful and you haven't heard some of these tips, and if you have, well then, 
now you know that a lot of people do it. So please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and you dig my content like this. I have a lot of other stuff that's kind of weird, but you know, whatever. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Yes, Goodbye. <laughs> Things I would rather be thoughts in the back of my head But I'm addicted to hurting